What's up everybody, as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So today we're talking about my everyday carry. A lot has changed recently, partly because, of course, I moved into my first apartment. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out uh, right there. But also because I've had the chance to partner with a bunch of brands uh, through Instagram. And with a bit of time, I've been able to really curate the products that I use every single day. And here they are. You might have seen in the title, I said almost all black everyday carry. And you'll see I have only one item that isn't black. We'll get to that later. So I always split my stuff in between my two pockets, my left and right pocket. I try not to keep anything in my back pocket since it's not very good for your back when you're sitting. In my left pocket is where I keep all of the bulk, all of the other things that I carry around. I really, really don't like having a lot of stuff in my pocket. And when I moved into this new apartment, it came with seven keys, which is absolutely nuts. So I had keys dangling around everywhere. Thankfully, I got the uh, Orbit Key Key Organizer, which really helped for that. So I just put all of my keys in there and then there's no more keys dangling everywhere, making noises. Another thing I really like about this thing, which we don't hear a lot when we see reviews, is that you can organize your keys however you want, uh, which means that if there's a key you always use, you can put it at the top so it's a bit more organized and that's something I've really been enjoying. I did go with the all black version because I just love the look of black leather. However, I have to say that they're uh, like saddle brown, I believe they call it cognac. Also looks really, really good. I think with time it would have actually looked better than the all black version, but I just love all black, so I went with it anyways. Now, one thing you'll notice that I don't carry around is a knife is actually, well, I live in Montreal and the knife laws are quite uh, strict here. I believe in Canada in general, but there are a lot of laws for the types of knife you're allowed to carry, the sizes, everything. And honestly, I've never found myself really needing a knife in my day to day, except for sometimes when I'm like opening boxes for videos, I think it would look cool to flip a knife in the beginning or something like that. And uh, sometimes when I'm tightening up my camera gear. However, I also have another Orbit Key tool for just that, and it is the multi-tool by Orbit Key. So it handles all of the things that I needed to do, which are open boxes, letters, uh, tighten my camera gear. And sometimes I can also open bottles with it. It does do a lot of other stuff. However, I have to say that's the only thing that I really use it for. I also have to mention that I would have enjoyed the blade to be a bit more sharp, so it would have been easier to cut through tape, but it does still do the job. Now the last and final item in my left pocket is my wallet, and it is one that I wouldn't really recommend. It is by a company called Redsack. They make leather products. And the reason why I went with this one is because I bought another one for my dad, and I thought it looked very nice. The quality seemed very good. However, this one has been kind of falling apart. There's not a lot of damage done to it, but you can see that the sides are starting to fall apart a little bit. So we'll see how long it lasts for. I have, I've had it for about three years now, but I do have my eyes on other wallets. I'm mainly from Bellroy. I think they do very cool designs. And it is just a card holder because I don't like to have, of course, more bulk. So I just carry the cards that I need. And there aren't a lot of cards that I really have to carry around with me. It's pretty much just my uh, driver's license as well as my a medical care card in case something happens to me like a car send or whatever i have my card there and i keep almost all of my other cards in my apple wallet i do wish we could have our ideas in there and when i'm wearing a more uh like something like a suit or something and i won't have even less bulk i'll sometimes switch that wallet to the pitaka card holder which holds just four cards so i can just put my ids in there and then maybe a credit card if i need to but my credit card is usually just on my phone. I don't really ever use the physical one. And that little uh, card holder can just slap on your phone through the magnets in the back. And it works really well. I've never had it really slip out or anything. Of course, it could be something that happens, but the mag magnets seem to be pretty strong, especially if you pair it with a Pateka case, which I used to do. However, I recently changed the case on my phone. The only thing that isn't black, sadly, is my AirPods Pro. And I know I should get a black case for it. However, I really, really hate having bulky pockets. And if it's just gonna be adding another layer of like bulk in my pockets, I don't really want a case. So I've really been throwing these around. We can't even say that they are white anymore. They're kind of gray. And it has to be one of the tech items that I use the most out of everything that I own. Perhaps my phone and my MacBook are up there, of course, but I really use them every single day, whether I'm at the gym, taking a walk, even sometimes taking meetings or if I'm trying to really focus. I really like having the active noise canceling, even when I'm here in the apartment, there's not a ton of noise uh, around me but it really cuts out everything. I would really, really like to upgrade to the new, uh, to the newer gen, so the AirPods Pro uh, 2. However, I haven't done that yet. The main reason why I would want to do that is because, well, they're supposed to be sounding a lot better and also the ANC is supposed to be way, way better. And now we move to the right pocket where I keep just my phone. So it is still the iPhone 13 Pro and I really, really love it. 
I use the camera a lot. I think it looks very great. However, I have to say that the iPhone 14 Pro camera looks a lot better. My girlfriend has that one and I'm kind of jealous of those cameras. However, I'm not going to be upgrading for now. It still does the job very, very well for me. And I love how bright the screen is. I never have to like look for shade or something when I'm outside. And the battery is still holding up very well. Also, I charge it maybe once every other day. I have to say I don't use my phone a ton. And a recent add-on to that phone is a leather case by a company called Vaj. And I do feel like it protects my phone a lot more than my other really, really slim cases while still being really slim and stylish, which is something I really enjoy. And it is also MagSafe compatible, which means that, for example, my little card holder does work on this phone and all of my uh, wireless chargers will also work. The last and final thing that is always, always on me is my Apple Watch. I've been getting a lot of use out of this, especially for when I'm working out. I really love tracking my workouts on there. And if you pair it with an app uh, like Athletic, which will calculate all of your calories that you burn throughout the day and everything, it can also help you to find uh, exactly your calorie deficit for the whole day, which can be useful if you're trying to lose weight. And otherwise, I just use it to tell the time. I haven't really found any apps on there to be really useful except for that. And maybe Siri. I use uh, Siri in my watch quite a lot to add timers and stuff like that. But uh, it is really distracting to have all of these notifications go on your wrist. However, I still find that the other use cases I have for it make it worth it at the end of the day. The Apple Watch might be something that I replace uh, in some time with something like a Whoop Band, which does get you better uh, accuracy and more data, which I would find to be quite useful. And also the Whoop Band could be somewhere else and I could be rocking a nicer watch. I really like nice analog watches. So I think getting something like a Whoop Band would be really nice uh, for the future. And then lastly, Sometimes when I want to carry more stuff, I do also bring my bag with me, but today is just the essential. And honestly, that's pretty much just a camera. I still use my dad's uh, Nikon D5200. I'm looking to upgrade to a Sony probably. However, they are quite expensive, so I've been saving up for that. And in the meantime, he still allows me to use his camera. So I'm really, really thankful for that. And the lens I always end up carrying is a 70 to 300 millimeters. I really love the 70 millimeter look. And the 300 millimeter can be useful sometimes if you're really trying to crop in on something a bit further away or even on cars and stuff. I think it's nice to get really close details. I actually use this camera pretty much every day to take pictures. I really love doing that. And I used to go to Montreal downtown with one of my friends to just walk around and take pictures. It was an activity I really, really love doing. And that lens, well, I use it for almost all of these pictures. So it's really the one I use the most. I really, really do enjoy using it. And of course, I also always have an air tag in my backpack so I don't lose it. And if I end up losing it, I don't know where it is. It can also remind me if I forget my bag. However, I have to say this almost never happens. It really should be on my keys because I do forget them sometimes. And then I have to run back up the stairs, grab my keys, all that. It's a bit annoying. However, I keep the air tag in my backpack because that's where I have the most valuable items. Usually, I would that be my, uh, my Mac, my camera, the iPad, for example. All this stuff would be a lot more annoying to replace. So I keep my air tag in there where if it gets stolen, I'll still be able to find it anywhere it is. Thanks a lot for listening. Uh, like I said in the beginning, if you want to see the apartment tour of my first apartment, go check it out. Also follow me on Instagram. I've been posting reels on there quite often and we've been building a small community there. It's been a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.